tires. We got tires. Morning everyone, we're in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Spent the night here, about to get going. We wanna make it to Minot, North Dakota tonight, to the Shatz Crossroad truck stop. That's the goal. If we get further than that, good for me. If not, well, that's our goal. If we don't make it there, then I failed. Setting goals for myself. I'm taking these tires to Saskatchewan. Someone in Saskatchewan wants these. I'm bringing them to him. slam it but if the windows are open the air pressure in here is equalized then I forget and then I slam the door Whatever. it's nice walking up to a truck that's clean haven't had a chance to wash it as often as I wanted to this week so we got it done yesterday here at the Petro they did a pretty good job I had to wipe it down after again uh, the wheels and stuff uh, they still had a little bit of grime on them but you know I'm a little bit picky too Oh, I just cleaned these things. One second, I gotta clean my lookers so I can see where I'm going. That's not what I was looking for. Haha, these little wet nap thingies. So like I was telling you earlier, we want to get to Minot, North Dakota today. That'll be just under 600, no, around 600 miles, just under maybe. Uh, just under a thousand kilometers. It'll be a full day full day but it'll be a good day I mean the weather's overcast we might run through some rain today we'll see hopefully not but better rain than snow right all right let's roll do a quick tug test
South Minnesota for some cheap juice. Change to the left. Should be like 45 cents a gallon cheaper at least. Almost 50 cents a gallon cheaper here. Why? Why is St. Cloud so much cheaper? And that's not necessarily the, the price we pay either. We have big fleet cards. So there's discounts on top of that yet. spring for the seat belt. It doesn't get sucked in there as fast anymore. My my pickup truck does the same thing. Every vehicle I drive, the seat belt always gets... Okay, I gotta tell the government that I'm fueling now, because they're very nosy. What you doing now, Trucker Josh? Why didn't you stop? Well, I found a decent parking spot in the back corner where I'll be safe in St. Cloud here. So I decided I'm going to stay here because I looked up on Google and around Alexandria Pilot right now, there's a whole ton of construction and all the roads leading to it are closed. You got to go way around just to get to the pilot. I would feel more comfortable parking there. I like that neighborhood and area better. But, uh, well, I found a safe spot here. So I'm going to go for a bit of a walk. They got a nice trail. They just recently repaved, which is nice. And this goes all the way down the street here, and then it goes down around behind here into those bushes back there, and sort of goes along the river, or close to the river. It's like a little nature walk once you get to the end of this section here. I'll show you. Get the blood pumping a bit and try to get back in the habit of walking every day. Once we're done our walk, we'll have a shower, then we'll book it to Minot. So that road we were walking down is back there. We turn this way to come around here. Just in case you got tempted, you know. We're still in town. The town's just back here, and there's a river that runs down there. I'm not sure what it's called. I could probably look it up on Google now. Probably something like St. Cloud River or something. Let's see. Where are we at here? River is it called? Oh, oh, it says, oh, Mississippi River. That's a famous river, isn't it? Does that go all the way down to Mississippi? Well, we're way up here in St. Cloud, Minnesota. This path goes around, down along the bush there, that way, and then through that bush back there, and then it loops you back right out by Pilot. Little, nice little loop. Oh, that breeze is nice. I'm not really in walking attire, but I'm in trucker attire. I'm a walking trucker. What? It's so nice out here. I'm trying to keep my pace up to a brisk speed walk. I'm trying to burn some of this fat off. But I also, I don't want to run. <laughs> nice, brisk walk. You know, just get the blood pumping, get the heart pumping. 
some fresh air. See the scenery a bit. But also, you know, I want to get this done as fast as I can. I want to shower and get back to trucking. Well, that path looks fun. This, I believe, goes right down to the river. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't think I want to go down to the river. I don't think this loops back. I'm going to have to stop and check the map. All kinds of trails. Another trail goes in there. Down there. It's be fun to have like a mountain bike. Just bike around in here. Or just, you know, two feet in a heartbeat and walk around. That's what I'm doing. It's not that far down to the river. I can already see it over there. I decided to keep going this way. I'm going to see if it loops back around to the main trail over there. There's some kind of gazebo coming up here. Just in case you want to stop for a picnic. I guess the trail ends here. Oh, wait, no, it goes this way now. Okay, what's this? There's another trail that leads down there. Oh, it's a cliff. Yes. Okay. And there's the water. This is a really neat trail system. Wonder what's down here. That is cool. Well, it goes right down to the water, I bet. You know, I know I'm going the wrong way here. This is going away from where I want to be, so let's save this for next time. Let's go explore that next time. We'll continue this way. I believe this path, well, this is going in the direction I want to go because the main trail is over there. So we're going that way. This is neat. Look at that tree. Wow. That would be so fun to climb. That's a perfect tree for a tree house. I want a tree like that in our backyard one day. No fence here. Wow. Looks like people go down there quite regularly. It's a little trail. Kind of wish I would have brought my swim trunks now. I'm just go in there for a quick dip. Oh well. We gotta keep trucking. We got a job to do. So many forks in the road. One this way, one that way. We want to go this way or that way. Let's go this way. Let's see what happens. Oh, and we found the trail. Back on the main trail. Nice. That worked out. Huh. And we made it back. And there's old blue. So I'm just gonna grab my shower bag, go inside, have a shower, and then we'll be out of here. I'm all showered up, ready to go. This parking lot is chaos. I'm so glad I got this safe spot here. But now there's someone new backing in beside me, and I'm just gonna let him get into his spot, and I'll be out of here. Nice straight shot, right in beside me, but as soon as he's in place. I'm out of here. I really don't like stopping here. It's just, it's a very busy place. Very busy. But it worked for today. And we got a good walk out of it. I really like that walking trail. So chances are I'm probably going to stop here again if I can get a good spot like this, like early in the day, just to go for my walk, have a shower and go. I kind of like that, that trail. All right, buddy, straight back. Don't overthink it too much. 
straight back. You got it. You got it. Now straight, straight, straight. Nice. Nice. Good. Old blue, marked safe. Let's get out of here before someone else comes and hits me. I've got eight hours and 36 minutes left on my 14 hour. Let's go. That was a good stop. That couldn't have gone any better. feel good, I'm clean. My body feels good because I got a little active today. Wasn't much, but I think I walked about two miles. And that's it for the major stops today. Now it's just go, go, go to Minot or further. Just stopping for bathroom breaks.
little bit of an overachiever today. changed my mind. I'm going to stop at Chats Crossroads here in Minot anyway. I made it to my goal. I just hope, hope I can find a parking spot here. I'm getting tired. Let's see if I can find anything. No, Karen. I changed my mind. I'm the boss. I get to do that if I want to. 400 meters, turn left on 20th Street and then turn right in 40 meters. Let's see if we can find any place. Just cooling off the cab. It's pretty hot out here, so I'm blasting the AC a little bit, and then I'll shut the truck off and go to bed. I guess I could have come back a little further. But... Ah, that's good. That's good. It was crazy. Uh, US 52, the highway that we take uh, from North Portal to the the i-94 had some crazy construction on it and it was dark out and i didn't know what was going on it was like a mud road all of a sudden it was terrible uh i don't know if they well they have to know that this route is the main road for all like international truck traffic like me coming from saskatchewan alberta to anywhere in the midwest of the united states or eastern united states all those trucks come through here so there's a ton of heavy trucks coming through, right? <coughs> and they had this construction zone that was like three or four miles. And the road was completely gone. Like they had ripped the entire road out and it was just soft dirt and mud. With huge like ruts from the trucks like me that are coming through here fully loaded. Just big ruts, I thought I might get stuck. This is US 52, like a, a, ma a major like, state highway out here. So I was surprised by that, but we made it through. And good thing everything was dry. Looks like Old Blue didn't pick up too much dirt from that, but... And if it was raining hard, that would have been a muddy mess. Yeah. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll start right here in Minot tomorrow. And we'll uh, cross the border, deliver these tires into uh, Lang Bank, Saskatchewan, and figure out what we have going on after that. Take care, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. And leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you tomorrow.